On December 16th, the UFC will conclude another calendar year of electrifying pay-per-view events. Right at home in the fight capital. Las Vegas, what a year it has been for the leader in combat sports. We go out with a bang. With a stacked card featuring top fighters from across the planet. Birmingham striker and UFC welterweight champion, Leon Edwards. Oh! Leon Edwards is the champ. Leon Edwards is by far the best kickboxer in the welterweight division. He has A-plus skills across the board. Faces American grappler, Colby Covington. Well, there's a reason they call him chaos. He is a polarizing figure, but he is also one of the best pound-for-pound -pound mixed martial artists on the planet. I want my belt back! Where's my belt? You just beat one of the greatest welterweights of all time for the second time, cementing yourself as the UFC welterweight champion. That can be no questions anymore. But there's a guy here that likes to talk, and he's sitting in the crowd, and he'll be looking for a fight. Kobe, he's so stupid when he's talking. Damn, Leon, I'm gonna put you in a coffee, bitch. So I'll knock him out. Headshot, man! Headshot, man! Headshot, man! Cross the head kick! Oh! It's gonna be years of blood, sweat, and tears. And just like the English, they didn't want to give us our freedom before, so we took it. 100% the belt is coming back to America. Now I'm taking the belt, bringing it back to America, and making the welterweight division great again. This is destiny. In the co-main event, the Brazilian underdog story of flyweight champion Alexandre Pantoja continues. Missed it on a right hand from Pantoja! He is a guy that can put anyone out. Ooh, this is a wild fight, man. As he defends his title in a rematch with jiu-jitsu black belt, Brandon Royval. Yeah, go. This is a kill or be killed flyweight. He dives into the action. I'm better than him everywhere. Brandon Royval by submission. Get used to hearing that. And on December 16th, I get my hand raised. I'm the top flyweight in this division. I want that title shot next. Let's go, baby. But Alessandro Pantoja is so good, man. I want to defend this belt. And I prove to everybody how good I am. This is my grill right here. Plus, an undefeated force from Kazakhstan. He is the consensus boogeyman of the welterweight division. Shavkat Rachmanov. Man, when they shut that octagon door, he approaches these fights in a cold-blooded manner. Faces a karate ace from the American South, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. The moment that Oscar door closes, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson turns into one of the toughest puzzles to solve in the welterweight division's history. I expect a war. And I'm gonna go out there and win this fight. This is insane. I feel like I'm 25. I'm still in for the long haul, and I still got it. Holdman Kigen Barla, Jumusta Jasap, Kazakhstan. Uh, 17 up, 17 down! Too good! But before the MMA leader brings an end to 2023 in style... You want my food now? Time, time to start losing weight. ...we traverse the globe for an inside look at the stars of this year's final show. Look at the camera. Party face. This is UFC 296. Countdown. In various pockets of Birmingham, England, the city streets pay homage to a homegrown hero. UFC welterweight champion, Leon Edwards. But if it wasn't for his mother, the Jamaican-born welterweight may have never chased the MMA dream at all. Leon, as a teenager, I'm always getting to fight. Me and Leon I was going home on the bus. I saw that thing building up. And I said, Leon, it looks like a gym. I said, 
said, Ma, what is this? And he said, oh, it's a MMA gym, like we teach people to fight. We signed up and that was it. He went in the gym, he never comes out. Say I got gym now? Yeah, I'm gonna meet Dave at the gym. Oh, so you don't want my food now? Um, nah. Come off my food right now. <laughs> Town to start losing weight, you know, so um, yeah. back to prep meals, um, eating healthy and, yeah, just dropping away now for a fight. Oh, okay. Edwards' time in the gym would not only alleviate the pressure on his single mother, it would also fill a void. Created by the gang-related murder of his father. Getting into trouble as a kid when my dad passed away. Mixed martial arts gave me the opportunity to now I can make my mum proud of me for something I'm doing correctly. Hook, left kick. <laughs> Cross. <laughs> Switch. <laughs> my head coach, Dave Lovell. He's always been like a father figure. Here is Leon Edwards looking to kick start a run of contention. Oh! That's it! One and done for Leon Rocky Edwards. <laughs> this is tight, he can have it. He knows me as a person, he knows what wakes me up and knows what I need. Cut them <laughs> up, no, Rocky! Oh, big left hook. When you're back left <laughs> to the cage, you keep him there, Rocky. Edward's getting loose. He's like a ride or die, right? Yeah, man, <laughs> these <laughs> <laughs> them, man. Having someone like that in your team hey! is very important. Nominate the position to the end of the round now, Rocky. I met Leon when he was about 17. Leon Edwards has proved he is a bona fide threat in the welterweight division. I've watched him turn from a boy into a man. Oh! Leon Edwards is pouring on the pressure! From an amateur fighter into a professional fighter. Keep him long and let's him up. Let's finish this in style. Good advice from Dave Lavelle to his longtime student, Leon Edwards. Oh, oh my goodness. He's a good learner as well. If he doesn't get anything, he won't leave the gym until he masters it. Leon to the let them know you've done this thing. Let them know you've done this thing. Leon Edwards feels like it is his time now to collect. And he's going to have to match Usman tonight if he wants to win this title. Leon's got it covered in all departments as far as I'm concerned. Give me a big round now. I need it. You listen to Leon. Come on. But you better watch out for that head kick. <laughs> no way! And no! Under the guidance of Dave Lavelle, Kick Kamara Usman into the shadow realm. Edwards would become the UFC welterweight king, ending the 19-fight win streak of then-champion Kamara Usman. Leon Edwards for the first defense of his world title. And defeating Usman again. Oh! Good body kick from Edwards. And there's another. In the immediate rematch. Oh, there's the uppercut again. Oy! Anthony. Good left-hand connection. And there's the head kick once again. Where a future opponent no! was watching. Why does Leon deserve a shot at me? I'm the A-side. No one cares about Leon, the guy's boring. He's gonna be irrelevant without that belt. In mixed martial arts, there are a few as brash and incendiary as Colby Covington. Leon stops the biggest cheater I've ever seen. The guy's a fucking joke. He's gonna get exposed, and he knows I'm coming to get that belt. He's not the champion right now. He's just a placeholder for me. A staple of the UFC welterweight top five, bred by a craft that shaped his entire athletic career. My wrestling background is how I started. I had to fight when I was a little kid. My dad was like, hey, Colby, you want to be the toughest guy out there around and not get bullied no more. You better join wrestling. Take him down. Good job. Wrestling's hard. Hey, you go. Keep the left of the hook. Nice. The coach that I used to have, he said, once you've wrestled, everything else in life is easy. Without wrestling, I wouldn't have the mindset and the work ethic that I have. Speeding at the elbow, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. There you go. My first world championship of many was my FILA Grappling World Championship. I was able to dominate everybody, take the will out of them. For me to get out of college and go submit all these black belts and become the world champion, 
It just shows that wrestling is the most dominant martial art you can have. After collegiate wrestling championships and world titles in grappling, Covington would take the mixed martial arts like a natural. Oh, beautiful left kick, and Covington going right to work. Big takedown. He's relentless here with the ground and pound. Oh, just brutal. Oh, Kanye's Ying's in trouble. Another first round finish for Covington. Covington undefeated as he makes his second UFC appearance. Nice takedown by Covington. We may be looking at a rear naked choke. And there it is, another finish for Colby Covington. I mean, he's been dominating these fights. Good right hand there. Colby's throwing some hard shots. I was on a dominant run, beating everybody put in front of me. Oh, spinning back fist. Covington gets the finish. Beautiful left hook, and there's the big elbow. He is one of the best in the division. Colby! Big time. And then getting this away match against the hometown hero and Damian Meyer. He's one of the most accomplished missing artists in UFC history. I left this hometown legend in a pool of his own blood in front of his home people. He's really starting to take it to him. And I left back to Miami ready to fight a title fight. Covington! I got one thing to say. Bring me back one three bill. Nice uppercut by Covington. That clipped Dos Anjos. Look at this. He's got Dos Anjos down again. In just his 15th pro fight. Colby Covington would win the UFC interim welterweight belt and has been a mainstay ever since. Covington at his suffocating best here early on, drags Lawler down. Oh, Covington! Facing former champions and title challenges. This is a prime Colby Covington doing what he does best. And befriending some of the most influential Americans. The interim title fight was everything to me because that's what launched me to being the first fighter in history to go visit a sitting president in the Oval Office. All I want to say is, this is a real championship belt. I'm going to do what a real American should do. I'm bringing this belt to the White House and I'm putting it on Donald Trump's desk. I'm a big fan of Colby. He's a winner, he's a champ, and he's tough. Good luck, champ. It's an honor to be one of those people that's close to President Trump. Proudly repping the stars and stripes of his beloved United States of America. Here is Colby Chaos Covington. Every time I get to see President Trump, it's better than the last time. And speaking of fighters, this is a true fighter, but he's here with us, champion Colby Covington. I feel unstoppable when I'm in the same building as greatness. Look at the pressure by Covington. Oh, big strikes from Covington. Now Masvidal covers up. I completely dominated that guy from start to finish. I'm the best fighter in the world. America's champ, people's champ. Donald Trump's favorite fighter. In addition to supporting those in public office, Covington uses his platform to regularly highlight American service members. On this day, that means a visit to the U.S. Coast Guard. Out here with the real heroes of America today. Everybody knows I'm America's champ. I fight for our military, for law enforcement, for our veterans. What's up, boys? People's champ. Hey, my man, you're the people's champ. America's champs right here. Yeah. People defenders well, of freedom. Well, I want to welcome how you. How are you, you doing? Good, good. good. How are you? I'll give you a little half oh, of the US Coast Guard, please. I appreciate that. Thank appreciate you so Appreciate you guys coming down and supporting us. It's an honor, man. Yeah, Thank you for here. supporting same us here. and keeping our freedoms free so we can chase our opportunities. Sweet, man. Appreciate it. God bless you, brother. Yeah. Thank you, too. It was such an honor, such a privilege to be able to go by the U.S. Coast Guard and show some love to them. I know they're fans of me, but I'm bigger fans of them. My grandfather flew in the Korean and Vietnam War for the Air Force, so, you know, I've always been attracted to our heroes in America. This is a dream come true. This is a very humbling day for me. So this is something I've never seen before, so it's amazing to see the ins and outs and the way the Coast Guard works. Things on yet, but yeah. this is forward, this is reverse, this is right and left. Okay. You know I mean, it's a pretty easy video game type, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is a Rolls Royce? It is. Oh, yeah, it's man, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought I would drive a Rolls Royce boat. <laughs> that's awesome. 
I'm able to use my platform to shine light on the people that deserve it most. That's all first responders out there, every single one. He ain't got no fear in his soul. I don't see no fear, man. That's not a guy I want to fight. No, no, I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm going to fight hard for you guys. I'm going to bring that bell back so you guys can touch it. Bring it back to the base. For real, man. For you guys, man. Thank you. For real. Come back anytime. Got it, Kobe. In order for Covington to continue using his notoriety for good, he needs to defeat Leon Edwards on December 16th. Because following a pair of close losses to former champion Kamara Usman, the Nigerian nightmare! Covington's next title shot could be his last. This title fight wakes me up at 4 a.m. to go on a run. It keeps me up late at night because I want to do extra workouts. Because this is bigger than me. It's about giving a platform and raising awareness to the people that deserve it most. It's a time in our country in America when we need a leader. We need someone who's going to lead by action. I talk the talk, but I walk the walk. Kobe has this right here. Very strong mentality. <laughs> I can tell you one thing. UFC 296, we're gonna bring the belt to the United States again. Nice. Shadow box, shadow box. This is destiny. I know I was put on this earth to be undisputed champ in this fight, December 16th. Like Covington, UFC welterweight king Leon Edwards shared the octagon with former champ Kamara Usman. Oh, nice uppercut from the champion. His pressure is starting to wear on Leon. In hard-fought bouts, at the time saw Edwards down in the scorecards. Leon right now is broken. When that final bell rings, Usman's going to win. Requiring Rocky to channel hardships from his past in order to push through. When you survive traumatic events in your life, you get hardened. I don't want to go back to where I came from. This is do or die for Leon Edwards. You got to empty the gas tank here. But when, when I'm fighting, I think I'm already physically, mentally there. You ain't come this far to give it away now! He may have resigned himself to losing a decision. I truly believe when it's time to fight, I'll win no matter what. No way! And no! Undisputed welterweight champ! The belt headed to the UK! I told you I'd do for you, Mum. I told you I'd change your life. I was born in Jamaica with nothing. I live in a wooden shed, zinc roof. Look at me now. Power for power work. There is no power for power. The bell belongs to nobody. That's it. Thank you to the USA for giving the kid that was born with nothing. Opportunity to be something. Thank you. game is an unforgiving game. One minute at the top, and then you're not. You have to earn that battle every day, and that's my mentality, you know, going into every fight. martial arts, the UFC World title was driving me.
Now what's getting me up in the morning is financial gains to provide for my family. And to be one of the best welterweight to ever exist in the UFC. Let's go. In order to remain on top, Edwards must defeat one of the division's most relentless pressure fighters on December 16th in Las Vegas. I'm so twisted. Where Colby Covington intends to take away everything the Birmingham's hero has worked for. Come get him, get you next, bitch. You suck. You garbage. You're dead. I'm so good for you. Champion of the world. Look at me now. I was born in Jamaica with nothing. I live in a wooden shed, zinc roof. Look at me now! Look at me now! Find Colby. I think we're two different beings on the food chain of men. He has proved that you can choose to be whoever you want to be. My mentality, my heart, and my burden, just what I've been through, it lacks the toughness. His grit? Do, do what? I mean, he knows I'm taking everything that he ever worked for. It's all going to be snatched away from me. He's got nowhere to go. He's going to have to see America's champ. We're not in the same cloth of anything, bud. I'm a blue-collar, hard-working American. It takes a lot to be Donald Trump's favorite fighter, to be America's champ, to be the people's go, champ. Go, go, go. <laughs> Miami right here. I'm a super villain, but this is real life. Super villains and bad guys win in real life. There you go. Come on, Colby. There's a reason they call him Chaos. Might just have the best gas tank in all of mixed martial arts. Ain't nothing. Best fighter in the world. The best welterweight in the world, Leon Edwards. Fantastic mixed martial artist. I can't see how he survives the whole 25 minutes. The best kickboxer in the welterweight division. A-plus skills across the board. I'm going to put him away. I'm gonna cook this little chicken up like the little coward bitch he is. And they're gonna call me Chef Colby, baby. Oh, big hand from Covington. Oh, he's opened him up. Damaging Jorge. Don't miss it. 